Well, uh, hello boys and girls. Um, I'm just going to say hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to uh, show you a couple of things that I uh, found recently. Uh, well, I say recently. One on the beach and one was uh, inland on a World War II training camp. Um, so nothing uh, super exciting, but, uh, well, somebody might find it exciting, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to clean one and I'm going to uh, try and uh, sort the other out. I really don't know whether it's going to work or not, but uh, I'll show you the first one that I found on the training camp is this, and it's a uh, it's a, a an insulator. Okay, uh, it's still actually attached to the uh, the steel frame, which looks like it's rusting away. I'm actually going to treat this with some WD-40, and uh, I'll maybe ch see if I can chip some of this rubbish off or wash some of it off. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to see if I can get this insulator separated um, because these are nice little things. Um, believe it or not, I, I really quite like them. Uh, and I know qu quite a few people do. So, uh, so yeah, like I say, I'm going to try and get this bolt off and hopefully separate the, uh, separate the two and, and separate the uh, ceramic insulator from the, uh, from the steel frame there. Um, so there's that. And uh, sorry, there's, ew, there's a really sharp screw on the bottom of there. I didn't show you that. But, uh, and then the other thing which I found on the beach is this uh, <clears throat> with this soda siphon tap. Okay, this basically would have sat on a, a large, sort of a large uh, uh, glass bottle. And uh, if you wanted uh, soda water with your whiskey, then uh, they would bring that and they would psh, press this handle down and um, it would uh, dispense some soda water into your, uh, your drink. So we're going to have a, a try and clean this up and uh, get this broken glass out as well so uh, so bear with us and we'll see what we can do right so uh gosh i think what i'm going to try and do is um is get this cleaned up as best i can and uh and go from there see i'm not sure if uh, i did see i don't want to grab this uh, glass with my bare hands and uh Normally would just sort of twist, twist in and out, but uh, I guess that's not going to uh, that's not going to go today. So, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put it in the water. And we've got a small scourer here. Whether that's uh, going to make much of a difference, I don't know. But uh, we'll give it a shot. Um, yeah, this was found on the beach in uh, Helensburgh, and. Uh, it was a surface find, um, although it looks like the majority of this is is actually uh, like a, a rust, which is uh, going to be disappointing if it is because it's not going to be worth keeping. Uh, let me just see if I can find <coughs> something to scrape it with. Uh, Probably not recommended, but I'm actually going to use a, a small screwdriver here just to see if I can chip some of this rubbish off. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I think it's corrosion that's on there, boys and girls, and I don't think we're really going to get very far with this, to be honest. Oh well. Well. Sometimes these uh, these are actually engraved, um, but I don't think this one really is. Um, yeah, they yeah uh, they might be engraved with the manufacturer's name or the uh, or the name of the public house from uh, from where it came. Uh, again, it, it might have been. Uh, from a private house as well, um, but uh, where I found it on the beach, there's uh, it's uh, just where the uh, place is called the Commodore Hotel, and uh, <coughs> it's been there for uh, for many many years. Um, these siphons, I think, date back to sort of uh, late eighteen hundreds. Uh, I'm just going to have a look, clean this glass, 
sometimes the glass that was used for the bottles was uh, was coloured glass and I think it quite possibly was uh, was coloured pink <coughs> And uh, yeah, it uh, it's amazing what uh, what this beach has thrown up so far. Again, if you look back through my videos, you'll uh, you'll see that we've had a bit of everything, really. Um, I must admit, now I was out there the other day um, with a of a video that I made there the other day, which is yet to come. You yet to see that one, but uh, but the uh, the finds are getting. Uh, a little bit thin on the ground now so uh, but I always seem to say this and seem to say that uh, you know I'm not finding a lot and then hey presto we find something amazing or out of the ordinary and, uh, <clears throat> and it kind of changes things but uh, but yeah I mean one of the uh, one of the big deciders on uh, or one of the big factors that we have for uh, beach detecting is that uh, things like big storms will actually uh, move move things around on the beach you know disturb things that have been maybe buried for for quite a long time let me just check my uh, yeah my camera's still recording away there so uh, um, but yeah it uh, so what we can find sometimes is that like I say we go out and we get absolutely nothing or excuse me we just get uh, a lot of junk and then other times we get uh, like I say you go back through the videos with things like cannonballs and grape shot and <coughs> half crown coins and florins and toys you know lead toys and and the, you know some of this stuff's dating back um, 300 years you know to the Georgian period which is you know, amazing that some of it's lasted so long. Right, I'm just going to pause you here, and uh, like I say, I'm just scraping off here some of the corrosion, but I don't think it's, uh, I don't think we're going to win with this one, to be perfectly honest with you, because um, I think we're going to do more damage than good in the process. <clears throat> okay, well. Uh, I'm actually going to leave the siphon handle for the moment. I'm actually going to uh, let that dry out, and then I'm going to spray it with WD-40 and see if we can get some of the uh, some of that broken glass out of it and uh, see if that has any effect. Um, I'm not holding out hope for it, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but what I am doing is uh, I'm just working on the uh, the insulator here at the moment. I'm just getting rid of some of this uh, this sort of rust build up all around it. Just using the hammer just to chip it off, really. Um, so, uh, so yeah, um, like I say, this was found in a, sorry, there's the, uh, there's the pointy screw out anyway, in uh, the remains of a uh, World War II uh, training camp, and uh, I was out there on a hunt with, uh, with Mark, treasure hunt in uh, Scotland adventures, and uh, check out his channel. So uh, you get some cracking finds, and it has recently with some lovely bomb fuses, uh, which we've yet to see cleaned up, Mark, I might admit. Uh, so come on, get them clean, get them sorted, mate, come on. And uh, yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna persevere with this. Like I say, I've got, I got a, a big lump from out of there and I got the screw that was, that was in the bottom there. I got that out as well, uh, which is that thing there which was very sharp, I actually hammered the, the point down, but uh, I will persevere with this and I'll come back to you. Well, uh, you see boys and girls, we're, uh, we're getting there. Sorry, let me just see on the camera how close we are. Oh, this bit's falling off, the wife's gonna kill me, bits of rust all over the floor. So we're getting there, it's, uh, it's getting closer, so I'm gonna continue and uh, and we're going to see what happens. I can actually see the bolt now as well, which is uh, which is always a a bonus. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see if I can get the majority of this off, and I'll see if I can soak this bolt, and we'll uh, we'll get a spanner on it and see if that gets it uh, gets it off. But stick with it, and because uh, it's a nice enough insulator, really, apart from 
apart from a couple of chips where I chipped it digging but I'll show you those at the end uh, if we can get it separated all right stick with us bad boys and girls well we're getting pretty good here I'm getting pretty close I'm just going to show you this is the insulator look and uh, we're now in a position where we can actually we can move it which is always a bonus so the trick now is to see if we can get this belt off and if not then we're going to have to hacksaw through but uh, I'm thinking for the purposes of getting this video sorted then we're going to uh, we're going to actually hacksaw through the bolt sorry can't see it very well there there we go through uh, through the side here and then we should be able to pull this rail off and uh, separate the two and we'll have ourselves a nice uh, a nice ceramic insulator all right uh, hang tight and uh, I'll see what I can do well there we are boys and girls we're uh, I'm still working at it but uh, it's really loose now it's uh, it's going all the way around there's lots of bits falling off it now um, the bolts exposed on both sides now so this is the main bolt that I'm trying to get off uh, I keep soaking in WD-40 it is slightly bent so I'm a bit concerned that I might not get that off but oh, I'm hoping and praying that I can and that we can get this off in one piece um, so let's uh, let's stick with it anyway boys and girls and uh, and we'll see uh, we'll see what if we can get this off and I'm I'm thinking we're gonna get it off uh, and I'm gonna die trying anyway all right back soon well I'm gonna bring you back boys and girls because uh, look what's in my spanner there that's the bolt we can't see that and uh, what I managed to do was uh, use my uh, <coughs> trusty hacksaw and I hacksawed the, through the uh, through the bolt here now hopefully that's going to come out and we're going to be able to set this yes I'm getting all this hey there we go there's one rusty old bolt that's for the bin and we have just about separated it yes now there's a slight chip there only to be expected really the other side looks pretty good right let me give this a clean up and uh, I'll come back to you with some decent light so I just put my uh, the light on inside the uh, inside the kitchen here just see if that's any better all right bear with us let me clean it up all oh, my batteries going now as well oh god's sake well after all that uh, boys and girls we've got ourselves an insulator there you go finally we got it separated um, there is a chip out of it there um, the other side is uh, is nicely flat so I'll probably end up sitting it that way up um, but uh, but yeah um, like I say um, I dug this on a World War two training camp and uh, uh, I got a signal with a metal detector and I thought alright I'll give it a dig and I dug away and, and I could see this thing and uh, I started digging away and I did hit it a couple of times with the spade <laughs> but uh, but yeah I think all in all I think we've re retrieved that one quite well and uh, yeah nice thing to have um, look up insulators they come in all different shapes and sizes and uh, you know uh, you can get them in uh, glass as well I think uh, over in America you guys get a lot of colored glass um, insulators electrical insulators um, we get a lot of telephone insulators as well so uh, my battery's about to die let me change my battery here a moment so uh, yeah sorry guys just changed the battery there so uh, so yeah happy days it uh, it's turned out quite well I'm quite pleased with that um, maybe a couple of bits of there's a little bit of rust here and there but I'll get those eventually but uh, but yeah like I say they come in all uh, all different shapes and sizes in over America I know there's a lot of collectors in America and uh, I know uh, some of the guys dig uh, in the dumps where these have been dumped 
and, uh, and they get some stunning ones. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything like that. We just tend to have these porcelain uh, porcelain ones that we find uh, usually every now and again. You find them uh, in a dump or on, uh, on an old World War II training camp. So, uh, so yeah, lovely thing to have. Um, regards the uh, the soda siphon handle, um, I'm going to leave that for the moment. Um, I think this is all um uh corrosion um but i'm not sure at the base here let me put the camera on close up and see if you guys can see this as well and uh see if you can see what i can see or what i think i see so yeah what i actually think i see at the bottom here is potentially where it's been engraved so there might be some writing on there but i need to get hold of some um some sandpaper and gently work at it with some sandpaper I think rather than uh, I was just uh, chipping away with a a flat bladed screwdriver and, and that was the result really but I think there's every chance that there, there is actually something engraved on here maybe there and there so uh, so yeah I'm gonna leave that for the moment until I've got some sandpaper and then uh, we'll have a go at it 